Hey there everybody, this is Caitlin here and welcome to Card Game Wednesday, the day of the week where we enjoy all things card game related and we are here with Advent of the Demon King. The set is finally out, the second part of Rare Cluster is here and we've got our box to open up here. I managed to pick this up from my local Game Store, uh, Game Store, Geek or Treat? Not Game Store, Geek or Treat, anyway, that's where I picked mine up and very kind of them. They also gave me a poster for the set, which I can't wait to put up on my wall next to my other Force of Will posters because I'm trying my best to collect them and whatnot so I am really excited to open this guys and I hope you're excited with me to find out what my pulls are um the majority of things that we've been talking about in our local LGS people have mostly been pulling Ayu so not many people have been pulling Wilster where is he he's over on the other side isn't he nobody's really pulled him they've mostly been pulling Ayu or they've been pulling the alternate arts of um Gil and Tagus not too many rares but um we've been mainly seeing these three in the conjunction line here. We've mainly been seeing these three. So I'm going to open this box up and we're going to take a little look inside here and we're going to enjoy opening these packs. I'm going to slide this beauty off here. Boom! Look at all our packs in here. Our lovely, lovely packs for a rare cluster. And I still like the design of these boxes. The designs of these boxes are still very, very nice. So, oh, I like that sound. Like, it's very nice. So, we're going to, uh, where will we set the box? We'll just set the box here so you can kind of see the pack still in the little corner of it as we go and open some of these packs normally i would like mix them up and stuff and um see what kind of order we get with these things but you know what i'm like you know we're gonna we're gonna keep it easy we're gonna keep it easy and um, i'm gonna try and remember um to try and we won't be going through like all the cards and whatnot as the camera refuses to focus on the finite details here come on come on camera you want to focus i know you want to focus on these nice cards there we go that's a little bit better so i'm not going to be going over all these cards because obviously it's a lot of cards to go through so i'm mainly going to be looking at whatever our rares our super rares or our um, full art commons are because i feel like you guys know what's in the majority of the set and everything like that you've seen my pre-release vlog and everything you saw me opening those packs there and you know we just want to dive in and we want to see some good pulls and everything Ooh, uh, this is uncommon Elven Exorcist, she looks pretty neat, really good. Ooh, nice, in my first pack here, I managed to get a Freyla, which is one of the ones I really wanted to get. Camera, why don't you want to focus on these cards here? I just, it's just not, it's not too hard, it's not too hard here. I want to just focus on the cards. Come on, focus on the text, or focus on something, or, oh well. Focus on anything in particular would be nice. So, Freyla, Servant of Demon Fire, she is a two drop resonator, she is one fire, one void. 600 Dark Elf slash Wicked Spirit. When this card enters the field, it gains swiftness until end of turn if you don't control another Resonator. And whenever this card attacks another target Resonator you control, may gain 400 attack and swiftness until end of turn. If it does at the next end of turn, its controller banishes it. Pretty nice for our first pack there, we managed to get a Freela. And ooh, our full art is Seals, a Wind, a Blast. So as I said guys, I'm not going to be going over every single card here. I mainly want to look at the stuff that are rare, any full arts or anything like that. These are just commons, aren't they? Nothing, no other rares. I think that was just the rare. Because I'm pretty sure, is Freyla a rare or a secret rare? She is, or not secret, an SR. She is an SR, so that's pretty awesome. And there was no other rare in here, was there? I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to double check because sometimes I forget that sometimes it can have a rare and a, and a secret rare. No, that is fine. We'll put that off to the side here. My camera doesn't want to focus on anything at all. My apologies, guys, if it's a little bit blurry at times. I think it's uh, the lighting in my room because one of the bulbs, I think, is just about ready to uh, give out its last light and whatnot. So my apologies if it's slightly blurry in some parts, especially because the camera isn't exactly sure or what to focus on at times when I'm quickly going through these different cards and whatnot. So we'll see here. Ooh, you're really cool looking, I guess. Hmm. Ooh, the rare. We have a jewel golem. Very, very nice. Five cost, two light, three void. I'm not too interested in golems, to be honest. I like Pandora as a ruler, but I'm just not too keen on most of the golems that we got in this set. I'm not too sure why. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too sure here. And ooh, our full art is one and only. Very, very nice. And you're just a normal rare, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. So first pack, we got an SR, which was pretty cool. I'm really happy about that. Some of the ones that I really want to pull out of my box, guys, I really want to pull a Joan uh, of Arc. I want to pull her. Um, I would like to pull the Misty Dragon as well, because the Misty Dragon is pretty cool. Uh, those are one of the among the ones that I really want to pull here. Come on, come on, focus, focus. You know you want to focus on these lovely, lovely cards here. Come on. There we go, a little bit. As my camera's just like, hey, as long as you don't hold the cards too close to the camera, 
then I'm gonna focus on them. It's like, all right, we'll argue. We'll argue later. Uh, camera, we'll argue later. Ooh, very nice. For our rare, we got Hilda and Safina. Very, very nice. I know a friend of mine who's after some of these, so I might have to trade with him and whatnot. Um, a four cost darkness, just all dark. 1,000, 1,000, a dark elf and a zombie. When this card enters the field, you lose a thousand life. When this card leaves the field, you gain a thousand life. You gain swiftness, flying, and first strike as long as your life is a 1,000 or less. And our full art here is the crystal in the on the floating aisle, which is lovely stuff there. Uh, in terms of the ruler that I want to pull, I guess I would lean towards more of Ayu because I quite like her. Um, I like her, I think, the most out of her and the Demon King. Um, but if I end up getting one of the cool uh, alternate arts for one of the Star Trek rulers, I wouldn't mind too much. I wouldn't mind at all. Uh, oh, that cat is so cute. I love um, some of the artwork here in this set. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It's amazing. And I'm kind of torn about what I want to end up building out of this set. Ooh, our rare is optional possession. I actually really like this card. Um, I used it in my pre-release. I only had one copy of it, but since it's got remnant, it was really cool. So I'm glad I managed to pull this in my pre-release. And ooh, our full art here is the Wilsur copy. It's Wilsur, not Wesler. Wilsur. I need to remember that. I'm going to keep forgetting it every time like he comes up. I'm like, Wilsur? Wesler? I'm going to keep forgetting. It's just, ah, uh, totally silly. It's just like, it's such a, it's like not a really striking name to the point where like I remember it instantly. I don't know, maybe it's just a little bit odd here. So let's get through these cards here. I know that I, I definitely might not get like a playset of everything that I want. Um, but we'll just need to wait and see how our trades go with everything. Ooh, I got um, a fair, the, is it Lilithiel? No. Fairer Latoil. I cannot pronounce his surname. I got, I pulled him at pre-release as well, if you remember, guys. He is a four cost. He's three wind, one white, uh, one white. Three, three wind, one void. 1,000, 1,000 elf. When this card enters the field or whenever it attacks, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's an elf, put it into your hand. Rest five recovered elves you control. Put this card from your graveyard into the field. Very, very interesting here. And for our full art, ooh, we have the Ivy on the Floating Isle. This was actually a really good card for me in pre-release as well. So, um, I mean, I might actually make some use of that because I quite like that card. Wait, is Fair an Nessa or is he a normal wear? He is a normal wear. Okay, so he can go in the normal wear pile. Like, I'm like debating with myself whether to properly look through the camera when I'm looking at these cards or like slightly peek over my camera so that I can actually get a good look at um, the thing because the camera obviously doesn't really want to focus too well here, but... Okay, sir, sir, I need to like upgrade and try and get a better camera at system at some point because I can't keep using this for the inevitable. I need to try and upgrade at some point. Ooh, our rare here is this? A, yes, our rare is Dance in the Moonlight, which is our four cost. Two darkness, two void. Chant Mystery. This card deals 800 damage to each Resonator, and our awakening is removing two mystery counters from your J slash ruler. Destroy all Resonators instead. Very nice. And our full art, hey, it's the whole whale chicken. Uh, which is kind of funny, as something falls in the background, because um, the whale chicken is actually the uh, profile picture for our Force of Will local chat group, which I think is quite funny. Um, I, for a period it was the pig, the whole whale pig, and it changed into the chicken. So I, f I find that quite amusing and whatnot, that, we've, that we have abandoned the way of the pig and we have accepted the chicken into our hearts. Oh, I like the little jeweler children. I actually really like this. If I end up building pandas, I will probably put this in the deck. Uh, because I quite like it. Ooh, Otherworld Dreams. I believe my friend is looking for this uh, for his fairer deck, actually. He's quite interested in this card. Ooh, ooh, this is a really one. Dark Elf Fugitive. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, we have Gift... Uh, no, gem, Gift. Gem Boat Alexandra. I also pulled this in the pre-release, I'm pretty sure. Because um, I recognise it. And, ooh, that is actually quite funny because I put Like, if you remember, guys, the only full art that I pulled from pre-release was actually Duplication Mirror. So that's actually kind of funny that my first full art from my box would be the same full art that I pulled from pre-release. So that is actually quite funny. I can't believe that actually happened. But now I have two full art Duplication Mirrors. So I guess maybe might use it in a deck or might trade them or something like that. I'm not too sure yet what I'm going to do with it because I'm not sure exactly what I want to build. If I end up pulling Tigris, um, I guess I'm building pandas. But um, we'll just need to wait and see what our other full arts and whatnot are. Um, you know, lovely uh, chest delicious card here from Shayla. Is she flat or is she not? We just, we don't know. And camera. I really don't want to focus here. I swear it's the lighting in my room. Tonight it's just like, hey, I don't want to focus on anything. It's like, thanks camera. You're really helping me here. Ooh, our rare is Devoted Squadron. 
It is a 3 cost Resonator. It is 2 Fire and 1 Void. 7 700. Are they Dark Elves? Yeah, they're Dark Elves. When this card enters the field, if your life is 2,000 or less, search your deck for a card named Devoted Squadron and put it into the field. That card entering the field doesn't cause its own abilities to trigger the shuffle card. So you can't, like, constantly be putting in Devoted Squadron uh, to the point where you've run out of your playset and whatnot. It's a one-time thing. So I guess that makes it kind of fair. Ooh! And we got another full art here. We got a full art possession stone. Oh, that is so nice looking. Go away, Squadron. I'm more interested in you. Very, very nice. Maybe this is an omen that um, I pulled a full art duplication mirror and I've pulled a full art possession stone. Maybe the box is trying to tell me, hey, you're going to pull Ayu, but oh my god, this box is so pretty. Look at the texturing on it. It's just, ah, oh, so nice. It's like, I want to keep it. At the same time, I know a bunch of people who will want to trade for it, but uh, I guess we'll just need to wait and see. I would like to build Ayu. I just don't know how I feel about her gimmick, about, hey, you can only have one copy of everything in your deck. It's just like, hmm, I'm not exactly sure how to feel about that. I want to say that I want to feel excited, but at the same time, I'm not too sure. Come on, camera. Let's focus on the actual card here, please. Thank you. Yes. We're going to do it. Yes. Okay. Guess I need to be a little bit far away and whatnot in order to actually focus on these cards here. Oh, the, the Ivy, my, my trusted Ivy. I know I can count on them for like a little bit of blockage. Ooh, I really like you. You've got nice artwork. <gasps> my Bloodsucker Dragon, another fave from the pre-release from me. Oh yes, another fave for, again, the Jet, the jet um, Panda, the Ambitious Panda. I feel like if I do end up building pandas, he will definitely go on it and I might want to make it like a black, white panda deck or whatever because I really like his mechanic. Um, he's a four cost, two darkness, two void, 1000, 1000 panda. When he enters the field, you gain a darkness gem and you can banish a darkness gem and target Resonator gains minus four, four until end of turn. So it's a very nice and oh yes! Oh, so happy! This is one of the ones I really, really wanted, and oh, I just can't believe that. It's the same feeling of when I managed to pull the full art dark red riding hood from our, our, uh, the art of our Ancient Knights box. Oh, I'm so happy I managed to get a full art Jean. Even if this is the only one that I end up pulling, I'm very happy that I managed to get a full art. She looks so gorgeous. Look at that texturing there. It's like, oh my god, it's so pretty. So what does she actually do, the Mad Maiden? She's a two-cost darkness resonator. She's 700, 500. She's human. And it's kind of hard to read the text because of the texturing, so my apologies here. Uh, this card gains swiftness, and this card cannot be destroyed um, as long as you control three or more resonators. If this card would deal damage to a J slash resonator, put a minus 100, 100 counter on that J slash resonator for each 100 damage instead. I love her so much. I want to try and make a deck around her. I just need to get more copies of her. So fingers crossed, guys. I end up pulling more of her. Um, ideally, I would like to at least get another two copies. I know that might be asking a bit much considering that she's an SR. And we've already got one SR uh, from our box and whatever. So that's two so far. I believe it's changed. I think it's either six or eight SRs for a box now. Um, I can't remember how the ratio changed um, after Ancient Nights because I forgot to go back and look and count. Um, but we'll just need to wait and see after going through our box and whatnot. But I am super, super happy that we managed to get um, an awesome full art SR. And it was Jan, the one kind of resonator that I was really wanting from the set. So I'm really, really happy about that, guys. I hope you're you're excited to, to see that awesome pull there. Um, just going through some of these cards. I feel like if um, you guys remember correctly, I was talking about how I wish Rhea had better support for her... Um, ooh, get me. Uh, for her mystery counters and whatnot. Um, I feel like I really want to see some of that. Ooh, we got an elixir. The Majin. She's really cool. I like her design. Uh, I was thinking when I first saw her artwork, I was thinking she was going to be like a ruler. Turns out that she's not. She's just, uh, yeah, she's an SR as well. So that's three of our SRs that we found already. She is a four drop resonator. She's two fire, two void. 1,000, 1,000. She's a wicked spirit. She has two abilities for Darkness Crest and Fire Crest. For the Fire Crest, um, when this card enters the field, it deals 600 damage to each Resonator your opponent controls. And for Darkness, if you have that Crest, then when this card enters the field, you can destroy a target Resonator, which is very nice. And our full art here is the Deadly Housefly, which is a little gross looking. I'm not going to lie. Don't like the look of it too much there. It is a bit of an odd looking card. Well, not an odd looking card, more like an odd looking resonator. But then again, Beelzebub is now a resonator, so I guess it is justified that we have house flies in our card game now. Uh, 
gonna just go through these pretty quickly here because we want to get to the juicy stuff. We want to get to the very nice things. This, this very shiny, sparkly, any Ubers would be nice. And you know, cause I've still not pulled an Uber yet. Ooh, spider's web. I quite like this card. The artwork is very, very nice. I love it. Ooh, and this one is the Voyage to the Floating Isle. I feel like I pulled this at pre-release as well. Um, I'm just like nitpicking. I was mainly, mainly the light cards I remember because I, I used light in my deck for it. So that's why I mainly remember them. And oh my goodness, we managed to get the alternate artwork full art array for our first ruler here. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, as my camera shakes, if I'm remembering correctly, you have the chance to either for your main ruler for your box, you either get Ayu Welser, you get the unsealed version of um, Gil, Rhea, or Tigris. And for your secret rare, I believe it is just the normal full art of the standard ruler um, of either Tigris, Gil, and I'm not sure if Rhea is included. She might not be, it might just be um, Tigris and Gil. I feel like Rhea is also included here, but very, very nice. Um, I did, or like, I already have the Rhea starter deck, so I can just like swap her in. I am still a little bit peeved. I don't know how many guys, how many of you are agree in agreement with me with this, that her J ruler side is still sealed. That's the one thing that annoys me about this. Um, it, she is really cool. I really like her artwork. That texture is just a very nice and gorgeous here. And obviously she's looking very nice. Just a, a normal like um, full art on this side. She is awesome. Um, the only downside, I feel like this is a bit of a cop out. The, the fact that she her ruler side, her J ruler side is still sealed. I feel like maybe when we're getting Time Spinning Witch, they might re release another version of her where both sides are unsealed. Um, it'd be a bit of a lame move if they did that, but literally she is the same as the Star Deck Ruler. The only thing that's different, uh, if the camera could focus please on the text, is that her sealed item is now unsealed on the Ruler side where she gets another two Mystery Counters. So she starts with three, uh, essentially. But pretty nice that we managed to get our J Ruler. Um, so I'm guessing now either we are going to get, we're going to get either Tigris Gill or I'm, I don't think the normal Rhea art is in this. I feel like it's not, I feel like it's just Gil and Tigris, but I might be wrong. Guys, um, you can correct me down below if I'm wrong here, but um, I feel like that's how that works for the ratios. Uh, so that's really interesting. Shame that I wasn't an Uber. I was kind of hoping that maybe this would be the box that would, uh, I would finally have my Uber in it. Um, but alas, it was not to be, or has it yet to be? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Ooh, we got the dinosaur guy, the big scary dude who is essentially people are saying going to be our replacement for Captain Hook in this. Um, he does all sorts of things. He's a five cost resonator. He's two water, three void, 1500, 1000. He's a dinosaur. Uh, if the card will not do it. Come on, come on, camera. Don't you want to focus on this card? Come on. There we go. It's because I'm not staying still. And this card enters the field. Choose one destroy target res resonator or three target magic stones. Don't recover during their controller's recovery phase. Boom. And our last one is a full art of a white dog of Cesario Palace. Are you an S? No, you're not. You're just a rare. I keep getting confused as to which ones are SRs. Even though I've already talked about the majority of these cards in our spoilers and whatnot. Um, but um, so far, so good. We're nearly at the end of this side of the box. We've got our ruler. We've got two more full arts. We've got, uh, well, we've got another full art from the Jan in here. So we're going to carry on here with the rest of our packs. Hold on a wee second until I get this one. I might need to, uh, I'm going to have to like chop up this video a little bit, so it'll come out as a full video for you guys, so probably maybe about 40 minutes long I would think after editing it, uh, but I'm probably need to going to edit it in little chunks and stuff, just so it's easier on my camera memory. Uh, Spawn of the ooh, uh, I use swords, swords, swordy things, <gasps> Faith in the Darkness, very, very nice, I wanted this card as well because it works so well with Jean, very nice, ooh, and we have a full art gem jail, the card that everyone was stressing out about because of the XX in the corner here, um, people were stressing out about how does exactly does this work for the interaction, but I'm glad that we got Faith in the Darkness, as the camera doesn't want to focus here, come on, you want to do it, don't you? Well, it is a two cost chant, it's two darkness. Come on. Focus, please. 
I'm trying to focus. There we go. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You may put a resonate with total cost two or less from among them into the field. If you put Jeanne d'Arc, Mad Maiden into the field this way, put two 100-100 counters on it and gain, and gain swiftness and first strike until end of turn. Put the rest in the bottom of your deck in any order. There we go. So I guess the key to actually getting cards to focus, guys, is to just stick your hand in the back of them and hopefully it will focus. Sorry for that slight little jump cut, guys. I actually moved my setup to a different part of the room in the hope that maybe the lighting would be a little bit better. Seems that maybe it's not too bad on this side of the room, but we'll just need to wait and see. I think I need to like, get new light bulbs or something in my bedroom because it's just not working too great in terms of lighting, but it seems to be focusing a little bit better now, now that I've moved out of the way of maybe the kind of less flattering lighting. Maybe my camera knew it was just like, we don't like this section of the room. We don't want to sit in this section of the room. We want to move. Ooh, here we go. We have a uh, match and subjugation. Yeah, match and subjugation for our rare in this pack. It's one fire. Just normal chant. As an initial cost to play this card, banish a resonant air, search your deck for a wicked spirit with total cost X or less, uh, X or less, or as I was saying, X or less, where a, uh, where X is the banished resonant air's total cost, plus two, and put it into the field, then shuffle your deck. And our little full art here is a flood. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with what we've got in our packs, guys, and we've still got plenty more to go. We've not even finished the first side and whatnot, but I'm really, really hyped. The, if, if I believe nobody's pulled a Uber from our boxes yet from our LGS. The only Uber that we've been pulled is from the pre-release kit that we had. Someone pulled an Uber IO. So maybe there's still a chance. Kind of dwindling right now though. But um, there's still like the briefest of chance here. Our full art is Leaf Golem in this little pack here. It is a four cost. Uh, not four cost. It is a five cost. It is two wind and three void. It's 15, 1500. It's an elemental and a golem. As a mobilize of a one, as you play this card, you may banish a leaf wing and a leaf a fighter. If you do, you may pay five less, and that's basically the whole entire cost less to play this card. Or you can banish a leaf wing and a leaf fighter and put this card from your graveyard into the field. Boom. Ooh, and our full art is the Elven Exorcist, which I was admiring that artwork earlier on. So I'm actually kind of glad that we got a full art of it because it's super pretty. Super, super pretty. I should try and speed this up a little bit because the first part there took about 19 or so minutes. And I know this is probably going to be a bit of a longer video, which is really the only reason why um, I, I've stopped splitting up the de the box opening videos. Uh, I used to do them in two parts, but I felt like it kind of ruined the flow of the video. So I've made it into one part now. I, I really like this card, actually. Ooh, we have the floating aisle for another uncommon. Oh, and we have another duplication mirror. So we've got a full art and we've got a normal one. And our uh, full art one for this is the Magic Warrior. So we've already gone through this card several times now. So I don't, really don't need to like go over again what exactly it does. But it's another SR. So now I nearly have a play set of uh, duplication mirror. So guys, if any of you need duplication mirror, hit me up here. Because uh, I've got some to trade. Because I'm not sure if I was wanting a play set of it. Because it is a bit of an expensive treasure item. It's definitely not something I would want to play set of in a deck. So yeah, I'm not too sure how to feel about that. All these different... Ooh, um, for a minute there I thought that was the variant of the Dragonoid Child. But it was not. I was mistaken. I was mixed up. Silly, silly me. Ooh, and we've got Ultra Awakening for our rare. I really like the artwork on this card. It's really nice. It is a hefty six cost. It's one wind and five void quick cast. It is um, spirit magic slash elemental. Target J slash resonator gains plus 2,000, 2,000 until end of turn, which is pretty crazy, guys. And our full art is a little Annihilation Beetle who's kind of looks like an evil ladybug because it's got like, you know, the reverse spots. It's got red spots with a black body. So I guess it would be like uh, anti-bug from Miraculous if any of you guys watch, this, watch that show. Probably if you're watching Force of maybe you're not into that show, but I digress. It's something I like and it's something I cosplayed. Ooh, there's Jem Dale again, but this time not a full art. <gasps> yes, we got another Jan! Oh, the Force of Gods are smiling upon me. It is not in full art, but it's still another Jan. So that means I am two. Two into my playset, so I'm really happy about that because I was bummed last time when I only pulled one little red riding hood. So I'm super happy. Ooh, we have a fire of the demon king. So I'm super happy that we managed to get another Jian. So that's another SR. So maybe, fingers crossed, if we have still got an SR to go, um, fingers crossed that I get another one. And then I have three. Because literally, I just need two more for my playset, which would be pretty awesome, guys, because I still haven't completed my playset for um, Dark Red Riding Hood as much as I want to. So uh, that would be a pretty awesome if we managed to do that. 
I'd be pretty happy. Uh, I'd be singing, I'd be dancing, I'd be doing all sorts. I also still really like this artwork for Spiderweb. It is very nice. Ooh, we got a Rose Quartz. Very, very nice. She is a five cost resonator. She's all light. She's 1,000, 1,000 and a panda. You may pay one less for each panda that you control, um, which counts Tagris, I believe, because he's technically a panda on his ruler side. So it would count Tagris. When this card enters the field, pandas you control gain a plus 400, 400 until end of turn. And at the end of your turn, recover all pandas you control. Very nice. Ooh, and we got a full art here of um, Hilda and Safina. Ooh, I forgot that this is a rare, so ooh, it's textured. Ah, very nice. It's kind of funny because it's their clothes that are textured and their hair, which is kind of funny there. But really nice. Uh, you're just a rare, aren't you? So yeah, we got a rare and we got a full art rare, which I feel like we haven't seen, or have we actually? No, these two were full arts, weren't they? So we have two full art SRs um, and, they, and two full art rares. And we've also got our full art J Wheeler, which is a very nice. So we're doing not too bad here in terms of our full arts. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the selection that we've gotten. Um, but yeah, if I end up pulling Tigris, I guess that Rose Quartz would be pretty good for it. Because she is pretty good in pandas, I feel like. She would be pretty, pretty dope. Especially if you could, like, cast her for free. That would be insane, I think. Like, if you could cast her for free after, like, you got all those pandas sitting out, that would be pretty nice. Ooh, I quite like this um, magic uh, impact for burn. I feel like it's kind of nice. It might be a bit expensive, but I still quite like it. We have our water magic. Ooh, we have a lethargy for our rare. Again, another artwork for Shayla, which is like, hmm, questioning the size of her bust. She is a five cost, uh, no, it's not five cost, it's a chant rather, but it's a five cost chant with two water and three of void. It's also quick cast if the camera will close. Rest all resonators your opponent controls. They don't recover during their controller's next recovery phase. Ooh, and our full art here is destroying of the portal, which is all rainbow and mosaic like and very, very pretty. Even though it's like destroying the only way to protect the elven homeland and whatnot. We are getting into our second half of the box, guys. I'm hyped. We still haven't seen our second ruler yet, which is technically our secret rare. Um, last time we had the dateable, um, kind of dating some boys and whatnot. This time round, it's another ruler, which still I feel like we should go back to having two rulers in a box. I miss that, guys. Do you remember when we used to have two rulers in a box? I miss that. Those were great times. Great times indeed. Ooh, I quite like this faithful vampire guy. He has really nice artwork. It's very nice. Ooh, we got a magic stone. Which is kind of funny because um, we didn't pull uh, Wilser in our, in our Wesler in our box, but we managed to get one of his stones, so I guess this is probably going to be traded to someone. Oh, nice, and we got a full art of the Faithful Vampire, which is really nice because um, I like his artwork a lot. Um, so I'm really glad to get a full art of him. Um, I've been like trying to collect all the different artworks and stuff off of Twitter after most of the wonderful forcible artists posted them on their Twitter for everyone to enjoy. So I'm very, very hyped, especially to see some of the gorgeous artwork. Um, I especially like the cross character artwork that Sigmund posted out. Um, it was really, really nice. So I'm really happy that all that, uh, most of the artwork has been posted out now. I think the majority of it has, anyway. Uh, there might be one or two missing. Yeah, it's another un uh, faithful vampire. I just need all of them, guys. Just give me all the faithful vampires. That would be very, very nice. Ooh, we pulled another a voyage to the floating isle. Seems like I'm getting a lot of the uh, light warriors. Ooh. And our little full art here is Advent of the Demon King. Hey, it's the name of the set. Who would have thought it? But, uh, very nice. I still, guys, let me know down below. Have you ever pulled an Uber from any of your boxes that you bought? Or even just from a pack? The only Ubers that I own are the ones I obviously got at um, GP in Manchester, I believe. Was it Manchester? Yeah, it was Manchester. Um, those are the, or was it Birmingham? No. Did Manchester happen first or Birmingham? I can't remember, but those are the only Ubers that I own, guys. Have you ever pulled Ubers from your boxes? Let me know. I have still yet to do so. Uh, after all this time playing this card game, I have still yet to do it as cards fall off the side. Neat. I got another Possession Stone there. Uh, not a full art, mind you, but it's still very nice. Ooh, and our little full art here is a Portal Magus. She's really cute. I like her a lot. Uh, you're just a magic stone, but we're going to stick you in the rare pile. Uh, my piles are getting like all like confused and whatnot, guys. So we'll sort it out near the end of the video when we're looking back at our goods. All of our pulls here, our swag that we've managed to collect uh, while opening this box. I was half tempted, even after I picked up my box, to just open, uh, just buy a pack itself. 
um, because I was like hell attempted um, as cards fall off to the side here. But I'm trying to fix off camera um, that you can't see because there's a pile rapidly growing. I tempted just to buy a random pack while I waited because I didn't want to open it until I got home. Um, but there we go. Oh, our rare here is the Valorious Tiger Spirit, which is for Ayu, I believe, because it's water. Oh, and our, is this a rare? Oh, it's a full art rare. Oh, it's, is this CL? Yes, it's CL. The one who I thought was actually feasting. Turns out it's not feasting. Uh, so kind of disappoint, but not really disappoint there. Very, very nice. I'm going to stick you down here with the full arts. She is awesome, I believe. It is a she, isn't it? CL is kind of like a, well, CL can be a girl or a guy's name, I guess. Kind of hard to tell. I believe it's a girl, but I might be wrong. But I feel like it's a girl because it does say priestess. But I guess a guy could be a priestess too, if he wanted to be, you know. I'm, I'm sure, you know, lots of guys could be a priestess if they tried their hardest. And I'm sure maybe there's a girl that could be a priest in the sense of the magical world of force of will. And we're not going to get on that tangent too much because it'll cause trouble for me later. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Ooh. Oh, we got Wings of Gold, and we have oh, Dance in the Moonlight for our full art here. I really like Wings of Gold, but I've not pulled a Ra. That's also one of the ones I've not pulled yet. I've not pulled um, Ra, the gold bird thingamajig, who has an awesome ability um, and can be played in conjunction with this. Uh, wings of Gold here, or Winds of Gold. One cost quick cast. You may pay one less like this if you have Ra, the golden bird. Target chase that or you can, or yourself, against barrier until end of turn. Which is very, very nice. And I also have the dance in the light. I, f I feel like now that I pulled the Rhea, I kind of want to build Rhea. But at the same time, it's like, she, she only has half of her seals items released. So it's like, how can I make her good? Especially when she doesn't have the best mystery counter support. Um, but I would like to try and make her good. I just don't know what I would exactly do with her. Um, I need to think about it. Maybe make it water black so I can tap her for um, stone or tap her for mystery counters and whatnot. Ooh, we have Elixir's a Fighting Spirit here for our rare, which is a very, very nice. Again, I love this artwork in particular. It is a quick cast, uh, one fire with remnant. Target J slash racing gains plus 400 and a first strike until end of turn. So basically the better tiger charge as people have been calling it. And ooh, our full art here is play dead. Poor character having to play dead at the by the feet of Welser. Wesler, I'm still gonna get his name wrong. I am still going to get the name wrong, even though I literally just pulled multiple cards that say his name. It's like, hey, Caitlin, can you remember this character's name? It's like, nope, I don't care about him enough. I remember names like Shayla or Sylvia or Rhea. I don't remember the names of dudes that I don't really care too much about, unless they're doing bad things, and then we need to care about them, especially. Ooh, what is this? We got another Margin Stone. Um, funnily enough, it's like, hey, you didn't pull Ayu or the Wells are good, but here's two of their stones. Ooh, and our full art here is the fast food. We don't really need to talk about too much about these stones. Uh, why am I putting it there? Because, obviously, they just do stuff. They, well, the Imagine one produces fire, and then you can banish it um, to produce two fire to play Wicked Spirits. That's essentially all it does. Uh, for uh, that one, for the Magic Stone. And then the Ayu Stone is basically produce water. Uh, you can produce any color of well if uh, your ruler, oops, as the card goes flying there, if your ruler is Ayu, uh, which we don't own yet. So that will be pretty useless. My blood sucker dragon. Ooh, and we got this guy. He is the willful samurai spirit. He was pretty annoying and pretty to come up against. Um, I didn't like going up against him very much, but there was a point where I used my duplication mirror to become another copy of him Which was actually quite funny because it was my opponent's one. So I was like, hey, I like your samurai a lot I'm gonna take that samurai or rather I'm gonna become that samurai. So four cost racing or two water two void uh, 1800 he's a Bushido slash soul with pierce if your J slash ruler is Ayu Lunar Swordsman a Swordsman or Ayu uh, Shaman Swordsman, you may pay one less to play this card when this card is put into graveyard from your field, target Jason's treasure against Pierce until in the turn, which is very nice. And our full art here is Swirling Mermaid. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like him very much. I bet his full art looks really, really nice. I can just imagine it all textured and whatnot and looking very, very pretty. I bet that would look very, very nice. Shame that I don't seem to have gotten many more of um, my Jet Panda. I wanted to get more Jet. Jet seemed cool. If I was going to build pandas, I wanted to stick him in it. So I kind of hope we end up getting another jet here. Ooh, we have the Dance in the Moonlight, which is a very, very nice. <gasps> Ooh, 
Oh, and just as I was talking about pandas, our secret rare here is the Tigris, the J ruler here, with his stuff all unsealed. Very nice. Sadly, not an Uber, but I guess I need to make do with what I got here. He's basically the same as the starter deck ruler. The only difference is that if I can get the card to focus here, uh, focus please, camera on the text, so we can actually read it. That'd be very nice. No, do you not want to do it? There we go, that's a bit better. Sealed item, a rainbow jewel. Whenever a panda enters the field under your control, gain a light gem. Play this ability only once per turn. And then when we flip over, it'll probably be quite harder to actually read this text because of the background here. But it's still a rain well, it's rainbow jewel at this time. Banish a darkness gem, target J Slash Resident Regains at minus 5-5 five five until end of turn. Or you can do rainbow uh, jewel for the other one, and it's banished to light gems. Recover this card, do this ability only once per turn. So very nice, our two rulers from this box. We have basically two of the old rulers, which is kind of funny, I think, in that regard. So very very nice uh i do believe if i'm correct when if i don't think there's a chance of us getting over now because we pulled both of them we pulled the uh secret rare which was tagus and we pulled our ruler for the box which was raya so seems like maybe no chance of getting an uber which kind of makes me a little bit sad but i digress maybe maybe it's not today maybe it's another day where i am destined to pull that uber at long, long last, maybe in the future, maybe in the future. Ooh, our SR here is a Rainbow Shimmer. I bet you it's gonna give me a load of panda support. Ooh, there's a song back. It's gonna give me a load of panda support after I pulled the panda, uh, which would be pretty funny because this is one of our SRs. So it's like, <gasps> no, you're detracting my chances of getting another Jean, uh, or Jean, or Jean, or how do you pronounce it? I feel like there's a million and one ways for you to actually pronounce her name, and everyone has their own way of saying it our own little special way of saying her name. Also kind of bummed we've not seen any Misty Dragon yet. I wanted to pull a Misty Dragon, uh, but it looks like I'm not going to get the chance. Oh, we got Viola. Kind of funny. I pulled Viola at the pre-release, and now I've got her sister. Or are they sisters? I feel like they are sisters, or maybe they're not. Are they? I'm pretty sure they were, unless I'm wrong. I've not been reading, um, I've not read the uh, Lapis Cluster lore in a little while here. Um, but she's also one of our SRs, so my chances of maybe getting another Jean are quickly dwindling here. I I feel like we've pulled our all of our SRs um, from the box now. I feel like this is it. We're winding down now to the not so awesome packs uh, of my box here. Before I kind of like pulled everything that was kind of amazing and whatnot. I haven't even noticed if we pulled. Uh, there's normally a variant. Uh, in these cards. Ooh, we've got a rare here for another CL. So now we've got two CL, which is nice. And our full art here is Freelers Devotee. Um, but we've, I haven't noticed, or maybe I've just flicked past it. I haven't noticed whether we pulled the variant card, which is obviously a, I believe that's a one on box as well. For some reason, they go for stupidly expensive prices, but normally the variants aren't that good. Or they're not that good resonators normally. I'm not too sure. I feel like I haven't seen it, guys. But if you've noticed it while I've been flicking through here, I might need to go back and have a look here. Ooh, we have the evil dragon Hillblaze. This is also an annoying thing in the pre-release that was, like, bugging me. It was like, oh, get to five stones and play this guy. He is super annoying. When this card enters the field, search your deck for up to two magic crests, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Yes, he is a very annoying card, but he searches out crests. Just like this one, a light magic crest. I bet them in conjunction would be very nice. Kind of nice that I ended up getting a full art light crest. Um, I think out of my all the crests, I like the light one the most. I feel like I like that one the most because it has the most energy. <gasps> and guys, I've only just realized I am bleeding. Look at this. I must have gotten a paper cut off of one of the cards or whatever. But I have been, I have been injured by these cards. These cards have given me a fatal injury. So I better quickly go through these last couple of cards here before I bleed all over my playmat. Which would be kind of bad, because this is the one that I got from last pre-release. And I kind of don't want to bleed over, all over my nice playmat. That would be pretty bad. Oh, we finally got Rapunzel. I was really wanting to get her, because I wanted to put her in my fairy tale deck. So I'm glad I got her. And ooh, end of the revolution for our full art here. We've got two packs left. Will I be able to open them and not bleed out? That would be uh, the goal. I don't want to bleed out and die of blood loss by the end of this video. That would be very, very bad. 
because I still need to recap everything that we pulled. Uh, well, not everything that we pulled, the good stuff that we pulled, rather. Ooh, <gasps> finally, we got a Ra. We got Ra, the golden bird. I'm very happy. Oh, it's an SR. That's probably why I wasn't pulling it. Um, it is a two cost one. I'm going to go over this one because I'm actually excited for this one. 200, 800. It is a guardian with cut cast and flying. When this card enters the field, change the target of a target spell or ability with a single target to this card. Whenever this card is targeted by a spell or ability, your opponent controls draw a card. You can pay two light, change the target of the card, spell or ability, targeting only this card. And our floor here is the Magic Magian Warrior, which is the golem. But for some reason, it's still a magian. And we have one pack left, guys. One pack. Can we get this over with before I bleed to death here? Because I accidentally gave myself a paper cut. That is actually quite bad that I gave myself a paper cut on some cards. It's like, ugh, I don't want to bleed all over my full arts. No, please don't. That would be very, very bad. Very, very bad. What is the awesome card for this pack? Our rare is Corrupted Dragonoid. And our full art here is the Magic Warrior on the Coast. You look like such a sad Dragonoid, all corrupted and stuff. That is just such a shame. Right, uh, sort this into the piles here. Okay, so we've opened our box. I'm not going to bother going through the draft rulers and stuff because it's the same apparently as last set, so we really don't need to go over it. I'm going to try and clean up this blood here on my finger so that I don't mess up any of these cards. And then, once we do that, we'll have a quick, or rather an ending recap of everything that we pulled from our box. Hey there guys, we are back. I couldn't find the plaster for my finger, so we're going to do this quickly before uh, I bleed out even more. I tried to bleed, uh, clean it up there, but um, it didn't really work too well. And I couldn't find a plaster. So we need to do this quickly before I start bleeding on these cards. But, recap. Our two rulers that we got from this box, we got Rhea, our unsealed version, and we got Tigris, which is the unsealed version, but not the alternate art, it's just the normal artwork. Rhea was our alternate artwork for this one. In terms of our awesome full art rares that we got, we got, I think, four of them here. We got Ciel, we got Hilda and Safina, we got a Possession Stone, and we got a Duplication Mirror. And for our SRs here, we got uh, Ra, we got Viola, we got um, a Rainbow Shimmer, we got two Xeons, one normal one and a full art one. We got another duplication mirror. We got an Elixir, uh, there's the full art Xeon. Uh, uh, and we got a Freyla, which is pretty awesome. And I'm not gonna bother going through all the other common full arts and the rares and stuff, because they're not really too important and whatnot. The main thing that we're happy with is that we got a Rhea, we got Tigris, and we managed to get two of our Xeons I was really after. So hold on, I'll bring them up to the front so that we can show her off here. She is awesome. Maybe I'll need to make her the thumbnail for this video because I just love her. I mean, we got one trailer, so I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with those. Kind of sad that we didn't end up pulling any of the new rulers. Um, we ended up pulling a lot of support for them in terms of their stones and whatnot, um, which was kind of funny. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below of our pulls and whatnot. I'm going to try and complete my playset of Jeanne, and I really want to put her in a deck. I'm debating whether or not to put her with Rhea. I'd love to do her with Rhea, but right now I feel like the Rhea support isn't that good enough. I might need to put, put it in some other kind of deck, but we're going to test it out. We're going to try some different things and whatnot, because I would like to use this ruler, because the artwork is very nice. But we'll just need to wait and see what we can do with her. So until next time, guys, I will see you all later.